हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर आयुषी पालीवाल फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल टनल डायोड फ्रॉम द पेपर सेमी कंडक्टर मेटीरियल्स एंड डिवाइसेस सो फ्रॉम दिस मॉड्यूल one may get to know about the following first the iv characteristics of tunnel diode and its energy band diagram under different biasing configurations will be discussed second resonant tunneling devices that is their fabrication and equivalent circuit model will be discussed in this module so students let us start with a basic introduction about the module quantum tunneling processes are discussed in most elementary treatments of quantum mechanics and they represents an excellent example of how the quantum mechanical nature of particles such as electrons leads to surprising consequences in direct violation of classical physics concepts the quantum characteristics are also precisely what makes the tunneling devices work so the basic idea follows from the wave nature of the electron the electron wave function can exist even in the areas into which the electron cannot enter according to classical physics so a typical example is an electron incident on a potential barrier which represents a potential energy greater than the kinetic energy of the electron the electron wave function will become an evanescent wave inside the barrier in analogy with the behavior of the electromagnetic wave incident on a wave guide below cut off so if the barrier is not too wide of the order of 5 to 10 nanometers or less the wave function will still have a measurable amplitude at the opposite edges of the barrier and the electron then has a finite probability of being transmitted 1958 leo esaki a japanese scientist discovered that if a semiconductor junction diode is heavily doped with impurities it will have a region of negative resistance so the normal junction diode uses semiconductor materials that are lightly doped with one impurity atom for 10 million semiconductor atoms so this low doping level results in a relatively wide depletion region conduction occurs in the normal junction diode only if the voltage applied to it is large enough to overcome the potential barrier of the junction description about tunnel diode in the tunnel diode the semiconductor materials used in forming a junction they are doped to the extent of 1000 impurity atoms 
for 10 million semiconductor atoms. So students, this heavy doping produces an extremely narrow depletion. Also, because of the heavy doping, a tunnel diode exhibits an unusual current voltage characteristic curve as compared with that of an ordinary junction diode as shown in this figure. So at zero bias, there are no states available for tunneling, while with increasing positive bias, more and more such states exist. So we thus expect the current to rise with voltage. The current will have a maximum when the band edge on one side coincides with the Fermi level on the other. Since for voltages beyond this point, the electrons will have fewer states to tunnel to. So ideally, the tunneling current should therefore go to zero, while in practice, tunneling is still possible through a small number of states in the forbidden gap. At the normal cut-in voltage of the PN junction diode, thermionic excitation over the top of the potential barrier will occur and the current will again rise as in the normal IV characteristics of a diode. So the end result will be a characteristic as shown in this figure with a region where the differential conductance is negative. So the valley current which is denoted by IV over here is determined by the excess current due to the gap states. It is in general advantageous to achieve a larger ratio of IP by IV. Operation of tunnel diode. So students, let us now discuss the operation. So its operation depends on the tunneling effect in an open circuit that is when no bias is applied the Fermi level in the P side is at the same energy as the Fermi level EF in the N side which is shown in this figure A. So it can be seen from energy band diagram of tunnel diode in zero bias mode that there are no filled states on one side of the junction which are at the same energy as empty allowed states on the other side. So there will be no flow of charges in either direction across the junction and the current is zero as shown in this figure A. Now when we apply a reverse bias, the situation is shown in figure B. So when a reverse bias is applied, the height of the barrier is increased above the open circuit value E0. Hence, N side levels must shift downward with respect to the P side level as shown in this figure B. Now, some energy states in the valence band of the P side lies at the same level as allowed empty states in the conduction band of the N side. Thus, the electrons they will tunnel from P to N side leading to the flow of reverse diode current.
so when tunnel diodes they are used in the reverse direction they are called as back diodes and can act as fast rectifiers with zero offset voltage and extreme linearity for power signals students let us now discuss the forward bias mode now when a forward bias is applied the height of the barrier is decreased below the open circuit value e not hence n side level must shift upward with respect to the p side level as shown in this figure a so it can be seen that there are occupied states in the conduction band of the n side which are at the same energy level as allowed empty states in the valence band of the p side so thus the electrons they will tunnel from n side to p side leading to the flow of forward current now again the forward bias voltage is increased to vp the maximum number of electrons they will tunnel from occupied states of the n side to empty states of the p side leading to the maximum peak current value ip as shown in this figure b so in this condition the occupied states of n sides they are shifting towards upwards with respect to the empty states of p side reducing the tunneling of electrons resulting in negative resistance condition as shown in figure c now when operated in the negative region they can be used as the oscillator when forward bias is further increased to vv that is valley voltage there are no empty allowed states present on one side of the junction at the same energy as occupied states on the other side thus tunneling current drops to zero as shown in this figure d now again increasing the forward bias voltage the tunnel diode starts conducting as a normal pn diode giving rise to the forward current gain now students the tunnel diodes can be fabricated from any of the number of semiconductor materials they continued to be used for many years one primary use was as low noise amplifiers where the simplicity and low noise temperature of the device made it attractive thus they might have been relegated to the category of obsolete devices were it not for new advances in fabrication techniques which have recently made a new version of tunnel diode known as resonant tunneling device or rtd so let us now discuss about the resonant tunneling devices rtd rtd was proposed by su and isa 